Hey, what's up, everyone? It's your girl, Da Little Red, and we are back for episode five. I'm excited for it. We finished our little nether hub, keeping us safe by that fortress last episode, and made a little coop for our chickens, so I was excited to get that done, and we went on some treasure hunts and got some cool things. Today, we're going to start off with putting on our shader pack of the episode. So, boop. Trilton's V8 Shaders is the one that we're using today. And the first thing I noticed about this one is I really like the clouds, but if I take off the shaders again really quick, do you see how bright it is without shaders? And when I'm wearing Trilton's, it's much, much, like, sh more shadowy and dark. So that was, like, the main thing that I think will kind of be annoying is it's going to be harder to tell when it's actually like night because it already looks pretty dark right even though it's literally like mid midday so even the sun position changes so without shaders it's like midday and then it changes to like late afternoon so that'll be interesting guys but i already collected supplies for what we're going to be doing today which is if anyone can take a guess we are going to be working on an iron farm. We're also going to be working on a little spot underneath this mushroom here. Uh, if we look in our inventory here, our little axolotl is finally going to be out of the treasure chest and into his own little home. So guys, we're going to get started right now and make a little, little home for him. And... Yeah, then we'll work on our iron farm and getting that done. I also really want to use my silk touch pickaxe and go find some packed ice because you know how we have that like nether tunnel with the the rails. Well, if I want to get through the nether quick, packed ice works really well. And I still don't have pigs, I realized. And so Last episode, trying to get the chickens across the iron rails was so hard because they don't naturally just, like, walk over rails. Uh, no mobs do is what I figured out. And so it made it way, 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 way harder than it needed to be. So I'm going to switch out the rails to packed ice and just, you know, use a boat and just cruise through the nether on my packed ice boat racetrack. So I want to collect some packed ice for that but guys I have not built much yet and we're on episode five right and all I've built really is I built a house then tore it down and then rebuilt a house right so like I know you guys are probably wondering well red what are you doing like you gonna build or no and yes yes guys I am going to build more than just a house don't worry I Mentioned in the last episode that really making cool builds is not something that I'm inherently, like, the best at. Um, so I was really excited that I made this house. Like, I love the inside. And, uh, yeah, but we are going to work by our nether portal. So in the first episode on the backside of this mountain, there was a really cool cave opening spot. And that is where we're going to be building our enchanting room and potion room in episode six, which is next episode. I wanted to first get an iron farm set up because it's kind of like a preemptive thing. Like I'm going to be removing the rails from the nether because I want to use the rails for our mine shaft entrance and making a cool little build out of that. But I first need to get the rails, and since packed ice works better, and mobs can actually walk on packed ice in the nether, I figured it would be easiest if I'm trying to get people around and about. So, that's what we're going to work on today, is getting the ice, but for the nether tunnel, and for making our potion and enchanting room, I need glass. So today, we're also going to do a little uh, sand extraction adventure, so... That's the plan for today, guys, just to give you a kind of summary of what that'll be, and let's get to it. So let's go and make our little axolotl his little home. All right, guys, so this is the area we have to work with. I thought this will just be kind of cool. It's a little bit hidden away. 
right? So our axolotl will be safe. I also thought it was cool that this mushroom is floating. And I thought we could do something cool with that. So yeah, this is the spot where we're going to work on building our little, oops, excuse me, last one. Our little axolotl's home. I know in real life they actually are kind of in these like hidden lake groves. So I actually figured this would be super cool. So this is kind of the space. There's kind of like a little hidden cove thing here, but this is what we have to work with. So I'm going to work on terraforming this a little bit. I have moss and some bone meal. So we're going to kind of use some of these different things, add some glowing, some, some glowing lanterns, lanterns actually. And yeah, just kind of use some of these supplies that I've collected to make a really cool little spot. And first we're going to try to be bone mealing this moss block. I haven't done a whole lot with the moss block, honestly, so I'm a little bit nervous to see how it's going to work. Um, oh, ooh, okay, yeah. Um, ooh, okay, yes. I'm, oh, wow. Oh, okay. Oh, we got one! Yay! Okay. Cute. Uh, I don't want you, block. I want, I want the flower. Flower! Oh my gosh. Okay. All right. Um, I need to get, collect this. Thank you. All right. All right. We're, we're making progress. All righty guys. So I'm just kind of cleaning this up a bit more, but we are officially done. Ha. Okay. In the shader pack, it looks really cool. I want to find big drip leaf cause I can't jump on these guys, which is kind of sad, but I added three. So kind of just added the shroom lights into the floor. I'm still probably going to mix around the like tough and amethysts because I think it just looks cool to have as flooring. Kind of mix in some of the moss as well. Kind of mixer. Oops, I don't want that right there. Kind of mix it around. But I'd say honestly, guys, like this is a great start for our little axolotl house. I love it. Let's put our little friend in the water. All right, buddy. Be free. Wow. Let's see. Do you like it? You like your home? Checking the corners out? Yep. Yep. Got some little nooks and crannies to kind of hide away in. Yep. Check it out. Yes. Perfect. Oh, I think he likes it. All right, guys. We got to find him a friend, though. So we got to go on the hunt. Oh, look. He's just warming himself on the little shroom light. How cute is that? Oh, I'm so happy. Do you like it? I think you do. Don't worry, I'll find you some more friends. This will be our little axolotl sanctuary. Yes, yes, yes. All right, guys. Well, we're going to leave our friend here. I think this is adorable. Oh, my gosh. Let's take a look. Oh, far away. Oh, my gosh. I'm so happy we have moss now because we can literally get rid of so much more of this mycelium and it just looks so much better being green. I love it. I'm so excited. Yay. Okay. So now that we did that fun little project, it's time to get down to the big project, which is the iron farm, which means I need to figure out a place where we're going to put it. I've heard that you do need to have the iron farm within range of where you do most of your work because if you're not in the same chunk it's not really gonna work that well i thought about putting it on our little village that's off in the middle of that forest that we made our nether trails to our little nether rail tunnel to but honestly i don't know if that's gonna work so i'm gonna go grab all the supplies i'm gonna put away our supplies for making our little axolotl home grab everything that we'll need to make our iron farm and i need to go f also uh i need to find three villagers because that I, that's what i need for our project with the iron farm and i need to find a zombie so Oh, another sad thing, guys. So I know that we have been saving that name tag to name our little axolotl friend, but I, oops, oops, don't want to die. Oh, okay. Yeah, we're fine. Uh, <laughs> we're going to use the name tag on our zombie friend because I know that I can get villagers that will trade name tags. So I'm not too concerned about that. So here's all of our supplies for our iron farm. I'm quickly going to put everything away. 
he just loves hanging out in our house. And, you know, I can't be too mad because it is a pretty cool house. Not gonna lie. But, yeah, guys, we got all the things we'll need for our iron farm. So, I'm gonna pick this up. Woo. There we go. And, you know, along the way, I'll just sleep in this bed. But I'm gonna figure out a place to put this. And then uh, we'll get we can uh, we'll get started after that. Alrighty guys, so I uh, finished, supposedly, this iron farm, and, you know, I got one golem that went inside it. A few moments later. Guys, I'm not sure if my little iron farm is gonna work or not. I only have seven, which is what I originally did have, so I'm kind of thinking it didn't work. But maybe it's because there's already one iron golem that it's not gonna give them more. Um, that could be it as well. Try killing this iron golem again. I respawned, so hopefully it won't be that hard. I'm a little concerned. Stay at range. Stay at melee range. There we go. All right. So now my theory is that now that that iron golem is taken care of, we should get more spawning in here, right? That would, it would just make sense. He spawned outside. Uh, okay. Um, gosh. Okay. Oh man, he's not in there. I thought he would be in there. Maybe this needs to be higher? Is that it? Is he spawning like on the edges? I didn't like watch him spawn. I'll have to watch the replay footage to see if that's how he spawned, but I have to figure out why this isn't working. Sorry, Gollum. Uh, you are being killed for scientific research. I need to see. All right, guys. And now we wait to see where the next dude spawns. Guys, he spawned right there. Okay. Um, man. How does this work? Alright, guys, so... We're having other mobs spawn. Besides our golem, which you should just... Boop. You just go down. There we go. Oh! Oh, I just wanted you to... Fine. We'll just... Do you dirty like this? I'm sorry. You know, this is not how I thought an iron farm would work, guys. I'm struggling hardcore. Oh, and of course the iron stays right there. Good. I need to figure out how to mob proof this. So I grabbed carpets, and uh, this is gonna not look pretty at all. Well, I don't think I'm gonna have an efficient iron farm for a while. I'm kind of disappointed that this is not working well at all. Like, I have... I'm gonna remove all the iron. But I... I don't know what to do, guys. A few moments later... Alright, guys, so next what we're going to be doing is taking a break from trying to figure out what on earth is wrong with the iron farm. And we're going to focus on getting packed ice for our nether tunnels and sand for our nether tunnel but also we're going to use it for our next episodes enchanting and potion room creation so let's get going we found our ice spikes biome and uh, now we just are gonna use our silky boy and go just 
get as much as we possibly can. I've never actually tried this. Right, just packed ice? Yeah, that's all we want. Just hearing the shatter. Alrighty guys, so I just cleared off and got a bunch of stacks. I'm going to bring this back home so that we can then make a trip to get sand, which we're just gonna, you know, pull it from right there. I'm trying to not pick biomes directly next to mine to be where I pulled things from, but I had taken shaders off because I was going through the night and it was a little hard to see at night. So we're turning shaders back on, like villager breeder. Oh, look, he just spawned where he's not supposed to. That's, that's fine. It's cool. I'll figure it out. I honestly am probably just going to slab the whole place until they actually spawn where they're supposed to spawn because <laughs> I can't think of anything else. But yeah, we're going to just grab this packed ice and then go out and get some sand. All right, everyone. So got a round of sand, which we're now going to go back home and some melt gonna turn the shaders back on because it was very hard to collect sand when it was this dark but since uh now we just ooh, excuse me dude i'm gonna sleep quickly i'm pretty sure i had a wandering trader in here but i can't remember where he was he oh there he is right there ready a man shall appear in my bedroom hi we're gonna work on our glass but yeah, so uh, while we're waiting for all of the sand to smelt, I think what would be good is that we actually do go into the nether and start working on the tunnel. We gotta say hello to our little axolotl friend on our way. Buddy, we're going into the nether. I will see you later. I hope you enjoy your little... I don't even know. This is like a little sanctuary. Your axolotl sanctuary. I don't even know what we should call this place, but I'm a fan. I'm glad to see these vines growing up. That's awesome. But we're going into the nether. I will see you later, buddy. You just enjoy your wonderful little place here, and we will talk to you later, okay? Have a good time. All right, guys, so we're in the nether. Buddy. This isn't your realm. So this is where our tunnel is. And we're just gonna make this too wide because I'm pretty sure a boat won't fit here. A few moments later. I'm using a lot of glass so that we're not just like just seeing this as we're tunneling. I want it to really be a beautiful kind of like roller coaster because look at this section right here, guys. We have a amazing mix between warped and crimson. What? What is that? Oh! That's that's my house, isn't it? Oh, that's my house. Okay, I was like, what on earth is that thing? Anyways, so there's such a pretty mix of the crimson and the warp, so I'm really wanting to use glass paint. Okay, they just spawned. Alright, see, this is going to be the one thing that's going to make it difficult for... Uh, using my boat if I have a ton of just dudes kind of spawning but yeah this is what I got so far I pretty much have all of the ice uh, laid down it's more so just filling up the uh, it's mostly just filling in the blank spaces so I'm probably gonna get like two more oh sorry I had shaders off because it was so difficult. We're gonna go grab our glass and we'll probably have to go get more packed ice as well. All right guys, so I have been working on slabbing up the exterior around our iron golem farm because they keep on spawning where they're not supposed to. And I want to take a break from this and from tethering through the nether and one of the comments that I got on my last episode mentioned how adding some bookshelves to my upstairs area would make it look really good so Anna I or Anna I I agree with you for sure I just have to figure out how I want them to look I think that looks pretty good 
All right, so adding some bookshelves. I think that that's good. I might add some more to really just make it like a reading nook area, kind of like an upstairs library for myself, but I totally agree Anna I, or Anna I, if I'm sorry, I don't know how to pronounce it, but I like the bookshelves. I think that is great. Thanks for the comment, Anna, Anna, and I'm a fan. Oh, hello, sir. He, I came down the ladder and he's in my house. Jungle sapling, you know, that's, I want that one. Come here, sir. Ooh, yes, beautiful, thank you. All right, you may leave. Okay. Wait. Oh my gosh, this is a new farmer. Wait, sir, I, I have been waiting for you. But guys, we are gonna go back using Silk Touch to get more of the uh, packed ice. So that is our mission. Gonna go get more packed ice. Alrighty, time to get more packed ice with the Silky Boy. Alright guys, so I collected a ton of packed ice. This is for sure going to be plenty. I'm going to need more uh, glass than I will ice now at this point, but we're going to head home. Alright, we are back home. I'm going to go to sleep so that guy doesn't need to be invisible anymore. But we're going to go back into the nether and finish our nether tunnel. All right, buddy, where we are going? Oh, we're. Oh. oh, okay. I thought they were gone. We're going back into the Nether. Wish us luck. Goodbye, friend. I love this spot so much. Like, I'm such a huge fan. All right, we are in the Nether. I have the things that I need. So I need to clear some more of the nether, what is it, nether work, nether rack, so that I have enough space for my ice. I'm putting ice in one hand so that we can make the Guys. I may have lost all my glass and all of my everything. I... Oh, goodness gracious. Uh, so I was trying to be too cool and try to get this lava flow to go over top of my tunnel so that you kind of feel like you are going through lava, right? So I forget how fast lava moves in the nether and uh, I tried running away from it, but it literally was like going as fast as I was. So I ended up accidentally just letting the lava flow follow me and by the time I realized I was burning and would probably lose all my stuff, I'm pretty sure I heard it get singed. So that's super fun, but we're gonna see. Oh guys, I will be so sad if I can't. Oh yeah. Oh no! Okay. Crisis averted. I put shoes on. Okay. Oof. Didn't lose. Oh, wow. I lost a lot. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, oh. Wow. <gasps> no, my silk touch pickaxe is gone. Oh, this is so sad, guys. Well, I can't save my glass anymore, and that is unfortunate and sad, but what do you do? Okay. Alright. Yeah. That was fun. Very fun. Well, at least I got my armor back. That's a good thing. 
I'm glad I sold my gold boots, otherwise those dudes would not be happy with me whatsoever. Alrighty, everyone, I have been hard at work making our nether tunnel here, and I think it has turned out great. So some of the chunks still need to have the ceiling put on them, but overall, I'm very excited about this. Um, I think it's going to look super cool as we go through it once it's officially done. This shader pack does stay pretty dark. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have some fun so we can see the different biomes. Hopefully I don't run into anybody. Yeah, but like cruising through the nether, this is gonna be, okay, I'm taking shaders off real quick. So this is the section that's not complete. So we just have to, you know, keep our head down, not look at any endermen. I put some glass there, which kind of slows us down, but here's, whoop. And then this is where we kind of like turn off and it's a little bit bumpy, but that's our nether. That's our little nether tunnel. I actually think it's super cool. But yeah, so that's what we got. And uh, I'm going to go quickly sleep. So we made a little staircase right here, right? So when we come down here, we can just hop into the nether portal into the overworld and since the lava got me I oops let me take this out of my hot bar oh man guys oh wow look at those bees out just frolicking cuties <gasps> Ooh, could I get two pickies pickies will follow me if I've got carrots right Oh, there he is. Oh, he sees me. Actually, guy, we're going to come down here. I'm sorry I made you walk all the way up, but we're going to turn around. Come on, little dude. Let's go find your friend, and then we're going through the nether. Oh, um, sorry, piggy. Are you going to jump? Thank you. All right. I think there's going to be three pigs that we're going to try to lure home just because I have no idea how many of these boys are actually gonna like follow me um so we're just gonna get as many piggies as we can <gasps> oh there's four yes oh look at them i will give you these as soon as we're back in the overworld okay and then you're gonna eat make some bibs yeah that's how it's gonna work oh I mean, sure, that can be the easiest thing. They're all literally through here. That's amazing. I got all of them! Okay. Now to get them up here. Come on. Uh, let's see. How do we want to get down here, huh? We'll slowly go down. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi, bud. How you doing? <laughs> All right, now we've got some pigs. We got a little baby pig, and we have all the animals now. We have pigs and sheep, cows, llamas, and oh, um, and we have a cow that thinks they're a chicken. That's all the time that we have for today, guys. Thank you so much for taking time to watch this full episode. I really appreciate it. We've gotten a lot done today. We made our axolotl a little home, and it's so adorable. I love it. I think it's my new favorite spot. And we made an iron farm, which I need to figure out why it's not working fully. But if you have any comments and ideas, please comment below what you think I might have done wrong. And that would be appreciated really really appreciated but to make the nether tunnel that we also made today guys we collected a bunch of packed ice and sand to make our nether tunnel which it's so fast i'm so happy with it and it's super easy to bring animals through i was able to bring those pigs through just fine compared to me bringing the chickens through last episode. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. If you are new, please subscribe and give this video a like so that I know you guys are actually enjoying this content. It means a lot to me as a small content creator. But until then, I will see you next time.